Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. One of the more fun players in this 49ers rookies draft class, linebacker D. Winters out of TCU. He is short, <laughs> compact, and pure speed. Seems like his role already is being pretty clearly defined for this season, and that's going to be the backup Will linebacker behind Dre Greenlaw, and he's a Dre Greenlaw clone. A little bit smaller, a little bit faster, not near as strong, but the 49ers have a type, and D winners fits it to a T. Now, got to give credit to the man, Josh, the 49ers guru, for doing the research and setting up this episode. So let's learn a little bit more about D winners. He's wearing jersey number 53. Niners fans, that should make you excited, right? The great Bowman um, played the same position. We'll see if he can kind of live into that. 5'11", 225, so on the shorter side for sure. On the lighter side, 31-inch arm, short arms, 22. One of the weird things about this draft class and last year's draft class with the COVID exemption, players are getting older and older in the draft, not D winners. He came out and you are getting somebody for what they will be, not necessarily what they are now. And his number one trait that he had, he ran a 4.4940 yard dash, which puts him in the top 94 percentile of all NFL linebackers. Dude's a speed demon. 156 on the 10 yard. He's got burst. He's got it. 30 inch vertical, not great. Nine foot, nine inch broad jump, not great. 20 bench press reps, not great. Um, but you you plug in his measurables to mockdraftable.com and the players you get, Deion Jones, Jordan Brooks, N'Kobe Dean, this new age hyper athletic linebacker, but he is smaller. So he does not fit the Fred Warner, Aziz Alshire, Curtis Robinson. He doesn't fit those guys. This is much more of a Dre Greenlaw, Marcelino McCrary ball type build. Um, but the things that he does, he does extremely well. Went to high school down in Texas, Burton High School, very small school. Uh, the town has a population of 283, uh, very, very small. He was a three-star recruit, went to TCU, and you know played very well there. Whenever he was in high school, listen to this, he played wide receiver, running back, quarterback, linebacker, cornerback, safety, and punter. Dude was all over the place. He was a star two-way player. He was a two-time district MVP, had 1,100 yards, 18 touchdowns during his uh, high school career. Now, you take him outside of football. Again, small school, you kind of play all the sports, right? He was the center fielder on the baseball team, point guard on the basketball team, um, and a member of the relay team that advanced to the state tournament. So in Texas, like speed, 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 athleticism, just an absolute athlete every way shape and form you can look at it now he goes to tcu played very very well um he, he chose tcu over arkansas northwestern arizona state and texas tech so kind of the second tier d1 schools but a lot of great programs there and you know i'll stick with this whenever you get offered by northwestern that tells you something um academics they're on par which, which is huge 2019, he was the Athlon Sports Defensive Freshman of the Week versus Purdue. Associated Press, first team, all Big 12 this year. Um, first team, all Big 12, all those different things. And he was tied fourth for all linebackers in the combine this year with his 40-yard dash. He had a quote whenever he got drafted, quote, I look forward to meeting Fred Warner, one of the best linebackers currently in the league, and I also look forward to playing against Patrick Mahomes, end quote. Like both those things. <laughs> now, um, if you want to fall in love with D winners, and we have this up on our Patreon, go watch him versus Michigan. Don't tell Wayne Breezy. Um, in the 2022 Fiesta Bowl. Dude, he was the player of the game. Wasn't even close. Seven tackles, three tackles for loss, one pass defense, one pick six. Um, I mean, he was just all over the his the game of his life so far was on what the biggest stage. Um, which got them to the national championship. They do not beat Michigan and make it there without the game that D winners had. Now, the Niners drafted them sixth round. So it's late. Pick number 39 in the sixth round. Uh, just recently, you look at his college career, uh, stats wise, 246 tackles. That's a lot. 33 and a half tackles for loss. That's a lot. 12 and a half sacks. Incredible. Two fumble returned. 10 pass breakups, 3 interceptions, uh, 1 touchdown, the pick 6. 
played 984 snaps last year. Now, if we look at his PFF grades, I think it kind of tells the story of who he is, not who he will be. 53.3 overall defensive grade, not great. 49.9 run defense, not great. 62.6 tackling, that is good. 61 pass rush, good. 54.8 coverage, not bad for a linebacker. He's all about big plays. Now, whenever I did my film breakdowns on him, which I think we have three up, it was a constant story of elite speed and explosion at times. He doesn't take good trajectories whenever he's ch uh, chasing down and you know his, his tracking point for in the pursuit drill. That needs work. That needs coaching. He doesn't play 100% speed all the time. Not necessarily that he takes plays off, but sometimes he makes a conscious effort and just kind of decides, yeah, I'm not chasing this play. Um, kind of decides early that he's out of it, which was the opposite of Jalen Graham, the linebacker that they drafted after him. And so if these two guys can be around Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw, I think they got a lot to learn. Now the good news for D winners is he does not have to contribute early. He really, really doesn't. Because at training camp, he is lining up at that will spot exclusively. He is going to be a special teamer. He's going to be a backup will. That's his job. He's not going to be a backup Mike. He's not going to be a backup Sam. He is a backup Will linebacker behind Dre Greenlaw and special teams. That's his path. Now, Greenlaw, he's under contract for two more years, this year and then in 2024. So he's got time to kind of grow into that. Greenlaw has missed time, but if he can just be an elite special teamer, which is speed and his size, say he can, he's going to be just fine. Linebackers are one of the most like pivotal pieces for a special teams unit. That's where he will belong. Is he a lock to make this roster? He's not, and that's why we got him number 48 on this roster countdown. But um, with the draft pick invested in him, he's going to have his opportunity. He's just got to show out. And the thing that's crazy is you look at guys like Marcelino McCrary Ball, Curtis Robinson, Jalen Graham. Those guys really are not in competition for D winners because they're not getting those will snaps. Some of them might eventually, but currently that just does not seem to be the way the 49ers are going to be handling their backup linebacker rotation so that's going to do it for us on d winners excited to see what the rookie can do hopefully he can surprise but man speed 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 that is what he brings and for us we'll just keep counting them down